Hi Taurus, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. Thank you so much for joining me. My new subscribers, welcome. Thank you truly from the bottom of my heart for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. I say it all the time, I absolutely love doing this for you guys. It really is my passion in life. Um, for my new subscribers, let me just say that if this reading does not resonate with you at all, Please look at your moon, your rising sign, even your Venus sign, and you could find that information at cafeastrology.com. Literally takes under 30 seconds. Also, I want to mention that I'm going to hit 2,000 subscribers soon in a very short time, so I do feel very blessed, and it makes me happy, so I am going to make someone on my Facebook page very happy and I'm going to give them a free 14 card reading sell the cross spread love cards clarifiers the whole nine yards um all you have to do to get in on that is just like my page I will leave the link to that below the video like the page and I will add your name to the list and I will be picking the winner on Sunday and those of you that would like a private reading with me, my contact info will also be below the video. Two and a half weeks. Okay, let's see what we have in store for Taurus. Be open to success. That's a chariot. Okay, guys, so we're off to a good start. So it says, look at all the wonderful things that you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. Your balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise hurled your way. Don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with gratitude you deserve. So, it could be this week. I'm sorry, this is going to be for the week of October 30th through November 6th, 2016. And I am using two cards for the Tarot, Doreen Virtue, Radley Valentine's Guardian Angel Tarot. So sorry about that. Okay. All right, so... Definitely a card of promotion this week, business travel. But I mean, it's it's a card of success. It's your moment to shine. You know, it dictates that, you know, you'll receive recognition for amazing things that you've accomplished. But whatever it is, it's a card of victory and success for the beginning of the week. With the Ace of Abundance. Wow, guys, nice. That is the Ace of Pentacles. So, new beginnings. And this card brings wonderful news. A windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans. These resources may involve money, advice, or assistance in getting things done. It's a good time to start new ventures, change careers, or go into business for yourself. There may be an important contract to sign. So I feel like... Well, with this card, I mean, there's definitely a windfall of resources, you know, coming your, your way to help you, you know, get things off to a, to a fantastic start, a successful start, like buying a house or you know, start your own business, change your career. Like, this is a card of definitely, you know, feeling blessed, victory, success, new beginnings with the chariot. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's a lot of success around you guys this week, big time. That's a lot of success. Okay, let's see what Archangel Michael has to say. Okay. Also by Doreen Virtue, it's time to leave this unhealthy situation. Okay, with this card, short and sweet, if you are in a toxic relationship, Archangel Michael's words to you are leave now. I mean, if you've been enduring this, you know, toxic relationship for far too long, you know, this card comes to you through that it's 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 time for you to leave. You've invested way too much time, energy into the relationship. It isn't yielding any heartfelt results. And, the, you know, the situation isn't benefiting you or people around you. So, I mean... You know, for some of you, you know, that are married in a relationship, I mean, possibly, you know, you just could see a marriage counselor this week or, you know, like I just said, you know, with this card, you know, you could possibly, due to this situation, move to a new home. But definitely, um, definitely, you know, with the Ace of Abundance here, you know, the Chariot, be, sorry, be open to success, it's called in this deck. Um, definitely moving into something new. Okay, Angel Therapy, also by Dorian Virtue. Twin Flame. The answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship. Okay, so, I mean, definitely the, you know, the soulmate card. Wow, I haven't seen this card in forever. Taurus, your reading is like amazing. So far, um, okay, so with this card, your twin flame is definitely involved with the answer to your question. Now, a twin flame is a romantic partner who originated from your spiritual soul group. That is, you know, he or she is the one in terms of our soulmate relationships, okay? Let's see what the rest of the cards say before we get into that card any farther, okay? Let's just, okay, wow, a new home. Messages from the fairies. Okay, seriously, a lot of you really could be looking for a new home, buying a new home. It says at the bottom that um, moving is a step in the right direction for you. So... With this card, you know, you're, you're moving to a new location with positive results. You know, you definitely could be um, letting go of your present home. Um, Definitely a positive change in your in your finances with that card. You know, and which allows you to uh, afford a better home with the Ace of Abundance here, the Ace of Pentacles. Like there's financial security 
and a, and and a, this new home. Maybe with your twin flame. Getting out of this toxic relationship to be with your twin flame. It's very interesting. You know, for others of you, a new beginning in your career. You know, the job situation is just toxic. You know, you're moving from one place to another in your career, in your job situation, definitely. Your next card is Nature's Whispers by Angela Hartfield. Um, I do use her Whispers of Love cards, and we do have that next. And some of you could be going on a trip and with adventure, um, possibly with your twin flame. But, you know, it's definitely an excellent time to take a short trip anywhere. You know, somewhere that inspires you. If you enjoy, like, horseback riding or, you know, riding a bike, whatever it is for you, create the opportunity to do this. You know, just get outdoors. Travel, it will help you, you know, break out of your normal routine it could also, you know, expose you in a different outlook. But definitely, um, could be definitely going on a trip or taking some sort of adventure this week, even if it's a day trip. And true love, this is the 30th card too. I find that very interesting. And Okay, th this is Nature's Whispers by Angela Hartfield. Okay, that's card 30. And Whispers of Love for your love portion is True Love. Also by Angela Hartfield. And that card is also number 30. That is very interesting, Taurus. Okay, true love. This love is a once in a lifetime love. With twin flame, wow. Taurus, if you guys don't meet your soulmates this week, I'll be very surprised. This card, this relationship is part of your life's plan. Unconditional love is easier said than done. Remember the love aspects of your partnership. If it is a soulmate relationship, the connection will be 50-50 and almost perfectly balanced, harmonious. You know, threes are about structure and All right, let's hear your love cards say. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. You guys are going to take a chance on this new beginning. You're going to be open to this. It, and it's victorious. Like the whole reading is just beautiful. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. If, those of you that are in counseling, if you're seeing a marriage counselor this week, setting that appointment up, you know, you guys are definitely, really, these are soulmates, these are each other's twin flame, there's definitely no separation here. But seriously, if you don't communicate and seriously open up and have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations in, in the counseling sessions, um... 
It's only going to take longer. I mean, why prevent the inevitable? I'm just saying. It's just a suggestion. And especially if there's children involved. Your love life is being affected by children. Oh, so sorry. So for some of you, there is children involved. And that could be absolutely why you need to get out of this toxic relationship. Start completely over. And I really do, seriously. Like, you are going to move to a new home this week. You're look for one. And the money is just going to come out of nowhere. Really. For whoever this, that person, whoever this is for, that really needs to get out of this, out of this toxic relationship. You are, you definitely already probably know and are surrounded by your twin flame for sure. And I think you're, you, you know, you, your adventure could be this week. Oh my goodness, that must be true. Moving in together this week. Okay, you're, this is an overall energy card. It is uh, New York Times Empowerment Cards. They're absolutely beautiful cards. And you have dignity. Okay, so some of you could be feeling a little bit guilty. Take pride in yourself. And all that you have become. Feel honored by your choices, achievements, and actions. Okay, so, I mean, with this card, you know, you're ready to rise up. You know, this week you're going to rise up. You're going to take action. You know, you're, you're going to celebrate the eternal light that shines within you. And you're going to know the, this week the satisfaction of making the right choices in life. You know, you're going to live the success, the victory, the new beginning, the reward. The rewards. Doris, this is like, seriously, a... A very, the, one of the, the most positive readings. Well, the second. Um, which is possible for you guys, you know, because I'm, I'm a Virgo. My Venus sign is Scorpio. Scorpio's reading was very inter interesting. Um, soulmate relationships too. So if you're... Um, Scorpio happens to be in your chart. Definitely check it out for sure. Especially if it's in your Venus sign. Like Scorpio is in my Venus sign. That's, that's, you know, your Venus sign it probably is the best one. If this one doesn't resonate with you, is the best one for your love portion of a reading. And, um, I mean, really, for these two cards to come out together, Taurus, like, I don't know that I've ever seen that happen. I can honestly say, not together, not in the same reading. That, that don't happen. And then with two, with two, I mean, the home is significant in this reading. The soulmate is definitely significant in this reading. And so is success and abundance and the money. All of it. Just all of it. It's just, really, it's it's perfectly balanced. It's perfectly balanced and almost 50-50. 50-50 and almost perfectly balanced. Stumbling over my own words. I'm so excited for you guys. All right, Taurus, I love it. I hope this reading helped you guys out for the week. Uh, again, I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. Have a fantastic week. You guys should. Leave comments, please. I want to know about this for sure. Seriously, I want to know. Leave comments, please. And if you're, you know, involved with this crap, oh, please, I want to know. 
in this new home, but there's so much here. I want to know. Okay, Taurus. I love I love interacting with you guys. I want to hear the comments. What's going on? Because there's a lot of success, victory, and abundance this week. In, in every card. This is the only one, but you're getting out of it. You know, your intuition is setting in, too. Look at the light. Clarity is coming in. You're getting out. You're moving on. You're moving on. New adventure. Guys, I love it. I love it. Beautiful. All right. That's all I have for you. I will see you guys back here with the morning Oracle cards. Bye-bye.